What up folks, welcome back to Ultrazilla Toys and today I have a review of the Ben 10 Basics Overflow and Wild Vine figures. Alrighty, the final two aliens from Ben 10 are up here on Ultrazilla Toys. I picked these guys up at Playfair a couple of weeks ago along with Stinkfly and Upgrade and these guys are really cool I definitely dig this line now there are a couple of more uh, aliens currently uh, not produced yet um, we got what do you got Gax is one and Shock Rock is the other i believe that's it you guys could tell me more i haven't been keeping up on the ben 10 so I, but i do like the figures <laughs> um so yeah i mean will we get more we shall see probably <laughs> i do like that at the current state of it um you know, you got like Ben and 10 aliens, you know, kind of giving you that Ben 10. So how much do you consider Shock Rock and Gax part of the crew? Um, or do you at all? So let me know. You know, you're probably bigger fans. There's probably much bigger fans out there and subscribed here on the channel um, that are bigger fans than me. So let me know, please educate me, educate me, you guys. Um, I, I do dig my 10 right now, but however, we aren't talking about that yet. We will take a look at them all together in a little bit, but let's take a look at these guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Wild Vine. You got some, some heavy vines on you. See if I can stand you up very nice. And let's take a look at this big guy right here. He's pretty cool. I, he's very cool. You know, like, if you got, like, the first series, like, I could definitely, um, you know, compare them a little bit to Cannonball here, Cannonball, um, but, you know, he's a little, I think he's a little better than that, that figure was, was probably, you know, the worst of the, uh, the first series, uh, as far as articulation and just what you're getting, um, uh, but this guy, this guy is a lot cooler, and I, I really, uh, I really dig the look of him, you know? Something really nice about him. I dig the upper body here. Really big, just kind of round. Um, but the legs are nice and skinny. And uh, it's just got a good shape. As you can see, he comes with two effect parts here, which look rather cool. You could pop him out right there. We will take a look further. Very, very nice. Really nice, clear, bright blue plastic. Not super soft. It's just got, it just feels nice. As you can see, it's got a peg there. Pops into this nice big hole right on the side and it's very secure. So it looks really nice. It's a really nice effect on both sides. So excellent, excellent job Playmates Toys. I think you would, you know, you nailed it with that effect. Very nicely done. And as you can see, there's more translucent parts on him. You got on his uh, forearms here. Very nicely done. Looks really cool. Like I like the bubbling effect in there, like water. Very, very nicely done. Uh, I love it on the tubes. That's really cool. And on his head, I feel like I want to put water in this guy, you know? Uh, <laughs> It just looks awesome, and it'd be really interesting to see it like swishing around. But very nicely done. It looks really great. I just really love this blue plastic. It's really cool. It really looks good against the red, which is you know a nice. That's a nice red, you know, nice solid red. <laughs> and then the gray looks good. I like the black of the eyes with the green around, you know, inside there. Painted well. Looks good. Uh, I like, you know, the little mouthpiece there. The Omnitrix looks good there. You know, on at his feet. He has some, you know, just black at the toes and the gray there, but it's pretty clean, you know. It's not that bad. 
also gray around his, uh, you know, around his wrist there look clean as well. So really nice looking figure. And he's got, you know, he's got some girth to him. So that's always good. No articulation in the head. You do have a hinge and swivel at the shoulder. Is hindered a bit, you know, by the shoulder, but not so bad. You can get it around. You have a hinge and swivel as well at the elbow. And uh, you do have swivel at the wrist. You have swivel at the waist, hinge swivel here on the leg. Um, you do have a hinge and swivel also at the knee. This was the thigh, of course. And that's it. But you know what? That's not bad. Again, better than Cannonbolt. Uh, so that's a pretty cool figure, you know? Nice you know, bulky figure done right at this, you know, basic size point. So let's take a look at Wildvine now, who also has two effect parts, which is nice. Dig that. You got this uh, vine coming out of his back, which is pretty cool. It's kind of a big peg, but it looks good. And, you know, it's, it's okay. It's secure, but it's like you really got to push it in there. Um, but I, I dig that look there. That is really nice, done in that green plastic. Um, and this other one that kind of comes out into this really cool looking claw. Um, it's just attached on his arm, on his upper arm, which is fine. I have no problem with that. It does look really nice. I, I really dig how that looks. Uh, and overall, I like it a lot. <laughs> This might be my favorite of the new ones here. The, you know, different shades of green just play off each other really great. Look really cool. The Omnitrix looks nice, painted nicely there. His mouth is painted a little messed up. I wish it was a little better. I wish he got a little more red in there, um, but eh, it'll do, I guess. Uh, I did look at a lot of them while I, I picked it up at Playfair. I picked it up from the Midtown Comics booth who had the full selection of them. Um, I hadn't seen these guys in store yet as far, you know, when I was at Playfair. Um, by that point, I should say. So, I was really excited to get them. Blue of the Eye looks really good, painted well with the uh, black around it. And then you got the, the paint here on the green that looks really good. His gloves are, look really nice, and they're sculpted really well. I really dig that look. Very, very nicely done. Now let's take this off. But once again, looking at it real quick, this is a really nice, nicely sculpted piece. No paint or anything on either of these, but they do look very nice. And the head sculpt is really cool. I really dig the back here. That is really nice. And uh, his neck piece here you know it's not easy being green but uh he pulls it off pretty well i like the backpack piece really cool very well done i like i like the definition in his waist that is very nice as well and the boots look pretty cool kind of like a a leafy uh cowboy boot in a way or like a little elf but yeah it, it's really cool i love these pieces here I don't know, I just, I just really like this figure, guys. Very nicely done. Can't say enough about it. Um, articulation, heads on a ball joint, but you really just get a swivel in there. Hinge swivel at the shoulder as well. Swivel at the elbow with the hinge. Nothing in its, his wrist. You get a swivel here uh, in the ab, like right above that ab so you do get some and it's you know a little more hidden than some of the others which is cool hinge swivel at the uh, thigh and uh, swivel and hinge as well at the knee nothing in his ankle but you know it's basic figures but they look good they look really good I, I, I dig them definitely my favorite one I think but they're both really nice very nice figures um, for some quick size comparisons before we bring in the rest of the crew, it is Star Wars Black Series, Maz Kanata, Solitaire from our Articulated Icons, how about uh, Storm Collectibles um, Sub-Zero, <laughs> you 
you know what? And that's about it for the size comparisons because we're gonna compare them and bring in the rest of the crew thus far just to give you a good look at Ben. Ben's 10 is where we're at right now. And there's Ben right now, who's an okay figure, you know, like, got a weird look to his face. Gray Matter, who's just a little static figure, but nicely painted. There's a uh, big guy here. Strong arm? Forearm? I'm blanking right now. Heat Blast, which is, who is awesome. Really like Heat Blast. Diamond Head. Very cool looking figure. Stinkfly, who we reviewed in the last review, as well as Upgrade, and big old Cannonball Bolt, who's, who would just put up over here. So there you go. That's a heck of a crew so far. Um, I really dig it. Will there be more? We shall see. I haven't heard anything yet. <coughs> haven't seen anything yet as far as uh, a next series, but if they stop right here, I, I like it because I like the theme of 10. <laughs> um, you know, uh, but you know, the show is uh, ongoing and we'll see where it goes. And again, there are two figures right off the top of my head that I could recall. Uh, two aliens that are are missing so we shall see how it goes if you know who else we might be expecting let me know all right guys and that's all I got for this review I think wild vine and uh, that dude right there very cool <laughs> and uh, so I I, I I like them all I, I think my reviews have been pretty favorable all, all around even with cannibal here he's okay um so yeah not not a bad series to uh to collect definitely look awesome all together i love all the colors so playmates toys thumbs up you know i didn't get the bad guys i'm not getting the bad guys this is really what i want i, I think that looks awesome uh and i'm sure one day uh you know soon and my son will be uh playing with these and uh you know helping me out with some uh, shelf room here <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I got. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.